some roads at break of dawn Bad shining as he's moving on Dusty trails where he Glitter rolls. Alpha 1, can we get units on Glitter Boulevard? Uh, we're gonna be facing eastbound and witness a, at least two bicycles gonna be jumping all over the road Currently we've got one at 3007, no additionals Sandra is 20 up here in our area. Oh, Don't know this kind of time. I uh, definitely saw the suspect's description that we need wearing a red jacket. Come back over here. Come back over here. San Andreas 20, I got him. Uh, the other subject, the 3020, greater some highway behind uh, one of the buildings between 3020 and 3016. Trying to communicate with him. Hey, get over here. Get over here. Alright, get off your bike for me. Get off your bike. Hey. Get off your bike. Yes. I'm standing right here. So what's going on today? Rise along where dangers tim. Each cold night. You jumping around cops? Yeah. yeah uh, on accident. On accident. Yeah. How's it on accident? Because I lost control and I almost hit them in the head. I'm sorry? I lost control when I was jumping and I almost hit them in the head. Why would you jump towards them? Like I said, I lost control on one of my jumps, and then I exo and then when you jump for some reason on these bikes, you go like 60 miles per hour. It's crazy. Okay, so why are you jumping? Because it's fun. Toledo 112, be advised. We've got that third bicyclist here on Toledo Boulevard at 3015. Okay. Hey, do you have an ID on you? I have my school ID, officer. 100 from 20. Alright. Does I have your name, date of birth, F on it? Uh, it has my name, no date of birth. Well, what is this uh, red rider doing again? Okay. Alright, I'll, I'll take that. Jumping around in the middle of the road, just okay. um, completely being a mess. Time for Alright. And not only that, he almost hit us as well. Ten four, you just confirmed that with me. I'm getting, I'm running his information. All right, can you uh, tell me your date of birth? My date of birth is 03042010. Yep. You're only 14 years old. Yep. And you're doing this. Yep. Jumping in the middle of the road and all that. Yep. Alright. Stay in front of my car and face face the windshield. What was his name again? Damn it. Chris Johnson. So we can see him. Oh, we're not going to be able to see him, Chris Johnson. 
He has a license. Sir, so you have a license on file, but it doesn't say what type of license. Is it just like a state ID? Yeah, it's like, uh, I'm, let me be honest, I'm arcane that, because you know how, like, middle school and high school, they give you, like, IDs in real life? So I'm arcane that I have that as my ID, but So, so really. a school ID? Yeah, it's a school ID. Okay, alrighty. Is your subject also a minor? Hey, fam. 10 4. Do you want me to write him a ticket or what do you want? Probably just give him a ticket. 10 4. Alright, Chris Johnson. Not a good start, man! Not a good start at all. I don't know what to charge him with though. Toledo 112, for a 2 120, or sorry, 20. Go ahead. Did you say your subject is a minor at this time? Yeah, 10 4. He's 14. 10 4, 112, 2 Alpha 1. Go ahead. Be advised, did you guys ages and names for your subjects as well? My subject is uh, Henry Klopson. He is 14 years of age. I just let him go because I can really hold him for anything. Yeah, 10 4. Uh, I'm out with the third individual. Uh, I believe uh, they're supposed to, she's supposed to be watching these two at this time. Yeah, 10 4. What's your 20? We are facing uh, eastbound Polito Boulevard at 3015. We're at the intersection of uh, Pi Right. I'm um, full alpha one and route. One twelve from twenty. Go ahead, twenty. You said she's supposed to be watching these miners. Hey, firm. She says, uh, according to her record, she's eighteen at this time that I could see. Ten four. Clear alpha one on set. One twelve from twenty. 112. Can you advise her that I have Chris Johnson, age of 14, with me over here? I'm getting him a ticket for disturbing the peace. 10 4. Alrighty, so I'm getting more information. Okay. You guys supposed to have somebody out here watching you guys? No, we're not. I'm, a t I'm taking off my sunglasses to. So, it's really dark. You're not? No. You don't have anybody babysitting you guys? No. Nope. Okay. Alrighty, well, you're going to be getting a ticket today, okay? For what? Disturbing the peace. I was not disturbing the peace. You were. In what way? Riding your bicycle in the middle of the road. Also riding it, jumping towards people and jumping, just jumping your bike everywhere. So I'm not allowed to jump on my bike? Not in, not in, not in the road or near around people. I mean, if you're at a stupid. bike park or something, then yeah. That's 12. stupid. Wrong. Or, or 20 from 112. Well, it's your safety. 20, go ahead. 
Be advised, what'd you say your location was at this time? Not 3020, behind a couple, behind a building, in between alleyways, in between 3020 and 3016 on Great Ocean. That far, thank you. Alright. I think I have a unit coming over here to speak with you. Oh, how wonderful. But this, uh, this thing is a misdemeanor. It means I can take you to jail. Oh, how perfect. But I mean, you got the state police on you, so. I do? Police I 112 back available. That's who I am. Oh. Blue Alpha 1, same traffic. But I'm not gonna do that. Alright. I'm just gonna give you the ticket. Alright. But we're gonna sit around. Hang on a second. 112 and 20. 112, go ahead. Did that person say she's gonna come over here or. I gave her the location. She should be on her way now. 10 4, thank you. Alrighty, so I. Have... No problem. So, there's somebody coming over here to speak with you. How wonderful. Go stand, go stand against that wall and face me. Okay. I want you away from this bike. Alright, while we wait for the person to show up, um, I'm going to give you a ticket. Here's your ticket. I need you to sign. If you don't know how to write in cursive, you can, you'll be fine to sign uh, just regularly. Uh, alrighty. What the stick is just disturbing the piece, okay? One, gonna be on it's a four hundred dollar fine. Gonna you be crystal three zero one six in the parking lot. Uh, gonna be. You are allowed to fight Avenue this in court, okay? Court dates are the bottom of the ticket. Circle, no additionals. Okay. Do you own this bicycle by any chance? I do. All right. Do you have any weapons on you? Anything? Nope. No? Nope. Alrighty. Let me turn on these lights real quick so the person can find us easily. Okay. Are you learning a lesson from tonight? Perhaps, perhaps not. We will find out later, I assume. How would we find out later if you're learning? So you're telling me you're not learning. So you just got a $400 ticket. My parents will take care of it. Uh, we'll see about that. Well, they will. Do you have a phone number for your parents? Or, or uh, a guardian that's supposed to be watching you? Okay, you don't have a, uh, you don't have a 10 digit number? No. Okay. Howdy. How's it going? Did you not arrive here? No. Did you get a phone number for her by any chance? No, I did not get a phone number from her. Okay. Uh, do you have a phone on you, sir? Alright, you want to give her a call and figure out what her phone number is or so I can talk to her? Because I don't want to keep holding you here if she's not going to actually come. Well, she was on her way, but... Is, is she on a bicycle as well? Yeah, she is on a bicycle. Okay, so I'll give her just a couple more minutes. I just turned on my lights to hopefully tractor back here, but I don't think it's working out too well. Once you get that phone number, let me know so I can give her a quick shout. Alright. I 
I told him he got the state police on him, and they ain't gonna mess around. <laughs> no, I know you state guys don't mess around. I mean, disturbing the peace was the closest thing that I could get him written up for. So. Then I asked him, did he, is he going to learn, is, is, did he learn his lesson from tonight? And he's like, probably, probably not. And then I'm like, well, you think you got a $400 fine, you think that would smarten you up a little bit? It's like, my parents will take care of the money. Hmm. So. 602. Okay, hang on. Hold on one, hold on one second, he wasn't ready. Okay, go ahead. 602. Six 602. Yep. 318. 318. 1313. Okay, what's her name? What's her name? Stacy. Stacy? Stacy. Alright, give me a second. Yeah, Stacy Thomas is her full name. Okay. Huh. So let me ask you a quick question, kid. Do you like your bones? Or do you enjoy your bones? I do. <laughs> okay, what do you think would happen if a car hits you when you're in the middle of the road on a bicycle? Yes. Hello? So what should we do Hello, is this Stacy? Yes. Hi, I'm, I'm Trooper uh, Wood with the San Andreas State Police. Um, I was informed that you were going to come over to our area to come speak with this person, this yeah, minor that you're, um, supposed to be watching. To be back tonight, one verbal warning oh, given. yeah, where is he? I was looking for him. Yeah, we're down an alley, um, 3020 and 3016, in between there. Um, okay. it's by a fence in the back. On the, it's on the Great Ocean Highway side of it. Okay. Yeah, right. I'll be right there. I found the other one, too. Okay, he's gonna, um, just so you know, I did give him a ticket for uh, just saving the piece for what he's been doing today. Okay, I mean, that makes sense to me. Alrighty. Alrighty, we'll see you okay, in a bit. We'll right there. Yep. Okay, bye. 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 Alrighty. She'll be right over. She don't seem too pleased over the phone, so... She said she just got lost. She'll be here in a second. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, I figured she was getting lost because I thought I saw her turn on to uh, Procopio a little bit ago on my way here. I forgot to tell her my lights were on. Should have told her that. I don't think anybody else has their lights on right now. I'll turn mine on. <laughs> facing towards the road. I got a freaking Christmas tree. Right. Well, he, uh, he didn't want to stop at first. I had to use the PA to actually get him to stop. But then he went in, and then he went into this, uh, fence area here. And I got out and shouted at him. And they get him over here. What's disrespectful? Me using the PA to call for you to stop? You're lucky he I'm surprised they're not taking him to jail for trying to lead from you, because you know we can arrest kids. Oh, I know. But I wasn't... Yeah, I wasn't really well, pinning around. Well, when you're taking a while to pull over when you it see lights like behind you. It was like five seconds. Well, it was from, like, back on the highway to here. And into that fence. But I'm not driving into a fence, so... No, I'm all set. You don't got a ramp bar. Nope. I mean, I would, but I think Chief would be mad at me if I... If I scratch the truck. That beautiful thing? Oh, heck yeah. 
Yeah, that is a beautiful dog. There you are. Little Alpha One. We're gonna be out with that same subject that we had before. I was to find you. With on the bus, we're gonna be friend. telling you about the uh, female looking for. So, are you like a guardian to him, or? Copy the female, female finally arrived where we are here at 3020. Uh, I mean, like, I don't know what to call it a babysitter, kind of like a life coach situation. That's what I asked the same thing. Yeah, about. temple standby. Okay. Alrighty. Um. Well, he. The ticket that he got is disturbing the peace. It's a four hundred dollar ticket. We're trying to put it into him that he actually hopefully learns from this lesson. More than just pushing it back. Yeah. Um so I would inform his parents when you see him see them about that. Um because he did say that his parents will just pay for the fine. But he should really be responsible for yeah, it. One, and if he one does one do it again, he may. Go if ahead. he actually hits somebody, he's going to go to jail for it, even though he's a player. Uh, what is the female's name? Okay, Stacy? Yeah, I'll try to talk to his parents. Ten four. Stacy They're Thomas was her name. Temple. Alrighty. Uh, so I. Are you. So all three of you guys are on a bicycle? Yeah. Okay. Apparently Alpha One's out with the other. Later Alpha the, uh, One, one twelve. The other one, so. Okay. Go ahead. You need ten nine. That. Wait, what? What is he out with? Ten, ten nine. nine your uh, Can you ten nine your twenty? Yeah, yeah ten, ten four. Our twenty, 20 is a third twenty. Great Ocean, Ocean Highway, Highway off of. Yeah, yeah just, just behind the buildings, buildings here, like, like in the alleyways. alleyways. Pretty difficult to find. Temple. That's why I said in the valleyways. Yeah. That should make it a little easier. And it's not dark anymore, so our lights wouldn't matter. No. Yeah. Seriously. All right. So. You said he got the other one stopped. Now. One, one twelve. Be advised. Ma'am, do you have a driver's license by any chance? So far, all up the No, just an ID. Just an ID. Okay. Alright, um, so there, I don't know really what to do, I mean, I appreciate you coming out, hey, buddy. Ow! Oops, oops, that was completely an accident. Go stand uh, anyways, against that wall, uh, go stand against that wall. Good alpha one gonna be back tonight. Stop getting angry with the concrete wall. <laughs> I think he has anger issues. Might have to talk to his parents about that. I mean, he did just get a four hundred dollar ticket, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd be mad too. I mean. All right. So. Where do you guys live? Or, where do they live, and where are you watching them at? Here's the other one there. Okay. What's your address? Now, are these two brothers? No, we're next door neighbors. Neighbors. So, what's your guys' address? 130 Carson Avenue. 130 Carson Ave. Yep. Wait, you guys rode from the city all the way up to here? Yeah. I'm really big into exercise. Well. You do know the only way to get up here is through the interstate, right? It's illegal to ride bicycles on the interstate. Do I have any proof of that? Well, I don't have proof, but I'm just saying. It's in the law book that you can't ride bicycles on the interstate. Yeah, but they're right. We can't do anything about it. We yeah. don't see them do it, so. Yeah. Just reminding them, that's all. So, what's going to be your guys' plan from here on out, then? Going where? You sure as heck ain't going home on bicycles. You either need to get your parents up here or something. Or you can take the train home. That's an option. Yeah, Amtrak comes through here all the time. I mean, you just got a ticket. Yeah, for $400, man. You can man. afford the train. Hey, the ticket is more reasonable to pay. What do you mean? The ticket's four hundred dollars. Yeah, the train ticket is nice and cheap. Then how expect? How do you expect to do pay off a four hundred dollar ticket? 
Well, what? This kid's parents. If I ever met his parents, I would just, I would question their existence. Alright. I do all so. the time. So, they don't have a problem with you paying off a $400 ticket, but they have a problem with you spending a few bucks on a... So, you're not going to be held responsible for the ticket. No, I never have. Are your parents, like, super rich or something to the point they just don't care? I yeah, well, I expect to see you out again, then. Oh, that's a thing right there, buddy. Mm. I have a yeah, he does he's not like you, man. Am I free to go? Well, mm, the, we gotta figure out how you guys are, where you guys are gonna go, and how you're gonna get there. Well, hey, I mean, technically we can't hold them here, man. Other no. They either... They can leave, but if we see them on the interstates, then they're gonna get arrested. So. My biggest I mean, worry is there's two minors and one adult. Yeah. If you, I, it, if it, anything, if she's with them on the interstate, yeah. she's gonna be held accountable. Yes, yeah, so she would be the one going to jail as well. Yeah. I say you just take them. And you've been pretty chill with I, us, from my understanding. As much as I would love that idea, ma'am, I unfortunately cannot. Now, now, if he hit the cop, then... Okay, now, yeah, now that's a different... Now, that's, that's assault, and yes, we could take him in for that, but no yeah. one's been assaulted, so... It's just a bike rodeo. Well, he should be lucky he didn't get... If he, uh, that you didn't go for much longer, because you, you almost could have gone him in for running, but... It was, like, five mm -hmm. seconds. I literally turned the alleyway as he turned behind. Yeah, well, You're on a bicycle. going through fences is considered, well, you know, trying to, you know, go through different areas where the cops can't is technically still considered evading. So if Whatever we want to get extremely say. technical, uh, then we can easily go that route. But I don't want to argue here on the side of the road. I mean, I'm just a, I'm just a police officer, man. We also don't want to see you guys on the highway. Yeah, with that trooper said. Also, if you don't pay off that ticket, because I don't know if anybody else got tickets, but if you don't pay off that ticket, you, you even though you are 14, you will have a warrant for your arrest. I'll text my parents as soon as you guys leave. Well, I hope they hold you accountable. They never do. They never do. Yeah, if you were my kid, I'd be taking your phone and everything from you. But you know, right. they're probably, probably going to buy me a new one for us. Well, it makes sense why he's talking back to us. Kind of explains why. Not, not that, no offense, ma'am, but no wonder you're, you're putting his parents hired you. Right. I think they need more than me. Yeah, her. yeah, seriously. She just showed up one day at the house and begged for a room. Mm hmm. That's the story. Yep. Exactly how it happened. Goodness, man. You are, you are so disrespectful. You know that's not going to fly in the world. You know that, right? Potato, potato. One of these days, somebody's not going to like your attitude, and they're going to sock you in the face. Later, Alpha, saying. we're going to be on a 1038 <laughs> with that <laughs> same lucky <laughs> color. I mean, they're we're kids. they got to learn the lesson. Jeff Santa, 3024. Hey, man, that, that assault card is probably uh, worth it. No this current time. And then I'll get to see them also for mental damages. They're going to put me so much distress, and I'll get more money out of them. Yeah, Maybe. well, they could also sue you for annoying the hell out of them as well. It's also a civil lawsuit, cause, so there isn't a lot of money in it. Exactly. Civil lawsuits come out to be like less than a thousand dollars, so don't expect to do anything. You'll be you'll be spending more money on the courts and the lawyer <laughs> yeah, than you are to be receiving. No, I'm um, expensive business just to pay off a just to pay off a lawyer. <laughs> I've been there, done that, ain't cheap. All right. While we're still chatting, I do want to let you guys know as you receive your ticket. Thank you for coming, and now all you guys are here as a group. You guys are free to go, but if you guys want to keep chatting, I mean, time is kicking. Time, time doesn't stop, but... Hey, man, I'm on, I'm on, listen, I'm getting paid on the hour, so it doesn't matter to me. Exactly. Well, I'll try to get them to the train station and try to get them home. Alrighty. Yeah, and if, if you, and if they do end up on the interstate and you're not with them, just, just be careful. I'm gonna say I this now. That is high, that's a federal... That's, that's how you, that's how you get creamed by a train that does 60 miles an hour. And potentially ends your life. But what if I'm on the side of the train? That's still the a felony. Still, uh, 
you not understand how big trains are, you're still going to get hit by one if you're even on the side of them. You know all the rock base underneath the tracks? Yeah, that too. If, if, you touch, if you touch that rock base, it's automatic federal trespassing. It's on federal pro property, which is a felony charge. And, let me, and, and also, do you guys like guns? You know, things that go pew pew. I mean, they're, they're from the city. Um, yeah, that's fair, but you know you know how city kids are. They like pretty much anything nowadays. Yeah. yeah. What? Wait, what? Do you? He's been awfully quiet, too. Yeah, and, then, and if you do have a gun, that's a problem, because minors aren't supposed to have weapons. I mean, I at least have, have one, uh, kick, at least guns. I mean, does she the have a weapon like, license? Are fine. No, she has no license. She has oh, no okay. That well, also, right. that, riding in the middle of the road. At least riding in the middle of the road is also how kids die, too. Again, but, his parents are rich. They don't care. Yeah. You know, they'll, they they'll, another kid. Just saying. They'll care once we scra start scraping them. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's true. That's why I asked this kid earlier if he liked, if he liked his bones, you know? Yeah. Wait, right. so, so the... Are you two going to follow me? In order to get there, I do want to warn you guys. You guys do have to cross this busy ass highway, and people Just love doing cool, 80, 90 cool. down this highway. So, okay. please. I'm always careful. I, I would, if I, if, if you guys want to listen to a recommendation, I would recommend to go down to the light and wait for the light to cycle. Yes. To where this traffic going this way, like towards the highway, is green. Then you guys should cross the road. Then, not while on, not while cross traffic is going. That's the only safest yes. place for you guys to cross. Yeah, they're kids. Of course, they wouldn't figure it out. Well, well that's what the guardianship's for. Yes, that is true. Yes, just try to get them home alive. We appreciate it. All right, well, thank you, officer and it, uh, trooper. You're welcome. If, yeah, no problem. Now, if uh, we run into them again and you're not around them, I got your phone number so I can just call you back and say, hey, this is what's going on. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All righty. He's already Maybe gone. Not. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. You Sanders, 20. I'm going to be back well. tonight. All right, you ready? <laughs> Give me one moment. Yep. All right, I'm ready. 602. 602. 318. 318. 1313. 1313. Yep. Got it, thank you. Also, I think that kid just hit your car, but I could be wrong. Thought I heard metal scrape on metal. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I, he did. Alrighty, thank you. He did. And you got to see your back bumper there is completely scratched. Every day oh. is a new story. Cruising Main Street, no hurry. No badge, no gun, just okay. Chat with strangers, make my day. Help. Living as I said in this big old state. Role play, life is pretty great. Freedom in the code, we thrive in our own little five and life. 112 20. <laughs> I'm gone. I have no idea where I am. Grocery runs to the corner store. Virtual days, but I want more. Meeting friends at the city square Adventures waiting everywhere No sirens, no red, blue flash Just my pickup load